guys, it's me, Waddler, and I'm a duck. And today I'm going to show you how to make these wings I've got here. So they don't look like much right now, they just look like wings. But as soon as you flick the switch, I'll start running and these wings will flap. And then I'm off the ground like this. So you see, I'm flying and I'm actually flying. I can go over stuff like this. And if I flick the switch twice, I descend and I can keep flying from it like that. And I can just land like normal as well. So I'm just gonna glide down. But anyways, I think they're pretty cool. So let's get straight into the tutorial. Before you build it, you'll need scale tool and screwdriver tool. So you'll need both of those tools. So let's get straight into building it. So start off by building with anchor block and merging level red. And then place down a wood block scale it up to about 12 oops i have it 13 so scale it up to 12 studs over here then place a chair and then you can delete this rod now on the back of the chair place a, a piece of titanium rod yeah place a titanium rod and then get out hinges that move to 0.5 and just place it slightly in front here are slightly behind like this but it's in front of this thing so if you build your wings it won't touch it so now that you've done that what you want to do is place a plastic block on the bottom of this titanium rod and then just scale it down to about 10. now place titanium rods down here like this one two three like that then place a wheel and but in the middle of both these rods so one there one there and then place a hinge slightly from the center of the wheel not out here but just here do this on this side too and then place down a plastic block flatten it with scale set to one scale it up to about 14 and place a block on the top part there do this on this side too so scale it in scale it up and place a block here now place a hinge facing like this and do it on this side too then place two titanium rods on each hinge like that so now that you've done that that's the flapping mechanic yet and we'll build the wings last because it makes the whole process of building it a lot easier if we do the wings last but anyways just place a block of plastic and the, these do have to be plastic and then place it on top of there and then scale it up to 50. now the second part helps if you tp up after you build this one block so place a block here flatten it scale it out by three one two three one two three one two three one two three so just three on all sides to make an eight by eight square then just tp yourself up with a portal or anything you can use a jetpack just get up here because it makes this part a lot easier if you're up here and place down wait before you do anything up here Go down here again and just place a switch on the bottom of this because it's quite important that you have that switch placed down there so let's just continue so just tp yourself back up here then place down two balloons before you place these balloons this is just something important so you don't need keybind tool place down a switch in the middle here don't matter what it binds so because it'll be deleted in a second so you've placed your switch here, place two balloons on each side of the switch there, so one, two, two balloons, then delete the switch and then set your scale to 0 0.16, so 0 0.16 and then scale up once. So both of these blocks are scaled up to be 1.16. So this is a quite an awkward scale but 1.16 will work for most players but if you find yourself just going up 
I like falling too slow. Just tweak it by 0 0.01 until it works for you. So, now that we've set that up, what you want to do is place a, a balloon block in the middle here. Then just get scale back to 1. Scale it up so it's a 1 by 2. And that's basically the upper mechanics done. Now we just have to do some more things. So place a switch down here. Doesn't have to bind to anything particular. Doesn't really matter, but all you want to do is have it bind to two glue blocks. So place the two glues here and this switch should be binded to them. Then you can delete that switch. And now we can build the wings, but before you do that, just make everything invisible and then select the wings and, and the switch, not the wings, the hinges and make these all visible and make the chair visible while you're here too because it'll be easier to set it up when you use it. So only these four things should be visible. Now that you've got all these visible, you can start building the wings. So if you want to copy my design, here you go. So set your move to 0.5, place a plastic block, and it is important that your wings are made of plastic. Scale it up twice, scale it in, and then scale it out to be about 6. Then place a block here, scale it up twice, scale it in, but make it thicker than this one so it's 2 by one by one Then scale it out to 7. Then down here, place a block. Scale it in and scale it up as well. So it's at the same level as all these. Then scale it out to about five. Scale it in there and scale it in here. And so I'm just going to scale this in a little bit. Actually, I'll scale it out. So yeah, six, seven, and four. Now I'm just going to mirror this wing to this side. Uh, scale it all the way in. Scale it up a bit but not that much, so 2 by 1.5 scale it out to about 6 then over here, scale it up do it in a bit, 2 by 1 by 1 block here now scale it out to 7 and then here scale this all the way in while having scale to 0.5 scale it up a little bit scale it in here a little bit then just scale it out to 4, like this so this makes a nice looking wing design. Now I'm just going to paint this part yellow and then I'm going to paint this part orange to make these golden looking wings. That's, I like the aesthetic of it. So now that you've built the wings, you can collision everything off and then place down a switch, then place down a glue block. That's a reasonable distance. Oops, I put my wing arm in it. Place it there. Delete the switch. And then on top of it, place a switch. And then just select all, collision on off everything. And now let's just do the wheel talks. So set your wheel talk to green and set wheel speed to 10. And also, one more thing. On this round, just place a boat motor. And then collision it off and make it invisible. So the entire thing is done now. We just can add a portal and also just it, you can invis these two hinges now as well. They don't need to be visible. And I'm just going to paint this. There, the switch is painted. Now just place a portal or any other way to get in. You can just use candies if you have them. But I'm just going to do orange portals. And I'm just going to serve it. So I'm going to serve it as a wing. Load it in. Let's load it up. I'll go through the portal, delete the portals. Then I'm gonna place my cake here. Then delete this chair. Checking. Okay, actually there's one more thing you do before you save and load it. Just forgot. You wanna make sure this stick here, this rod, see it's visible. Make sure this has collision on. Or it might have issues connecting to your body. Anyways, yeah, just save it and load it now. And then go through the portal, delete the portals, place a cake, then delete the seat. And I'm just gonna invis the cake and collision off it so it looks nicer. Then unanchor, 
and you won't fall immediately because you need to flick the switch and that'll set up the wings to work so you can see the mechanics have activated up there and now to fly just flick the switch and it'll start flapping and now you're off the ground so you can use these wings to start flying wherever you want to fly with them so i can just fly all the way up here and i can come in for a landing down here so anyways thanks for watching and goodbye